Hello, welcome to the IBU Soil Mechanics Laboratory. This video will demonstrate how to conduct a standard Proctor compaction test. The relevant ASTM standard is ASTM D698. There is also an AASHTO standard, T99. The purpose of this test is to determine the moisture unit weight relationship of soils. The results of this test enable us to determine the water content that will allow a particular soil to be compacted in its most dense state under the application of a standard level of energy. This information is used by contractors tasked with the construction of controlled fills for roadways, highways, dams, and other earthworks. Project owners can use the results of this test for quality assurance and quality control purposes of fills as they are being built. The soil to be used in the compaction test is that fraction of the soil that passes the number 4 sieve, or the fraction that is smaller than 4.75 millimeters. The equipment needed to run the test include a compaction mold, either a 6 inch or a 4 inch diameter mold is used, a standard proctor hammer, a balance sensitive up to 0 0.01 grams, a large flat tray, a hydraulic jack for removing the soil from the mold, a steel straight edge, moisture cans, a drying oven, and a plastic squeeze bottle or spray can. The Proctor compaction mold is a 4 inch or 101.6 millimeter diameter mold with a height of 4.584 inches or 116.4 millimeters. The compaction mold has a base plate that is attached to the bottom and an extension collar attached to the top. The inside volume of the mold is roughly 1 divided by 30 feet cubed, or roughly 944 centimeters cubed for the 4-inch mold. The standard Proctor hammer, or rammer as it is sometimes called, consists of a five and a half pound or about two and a half kilogram force weight that can be lifted and dropped through a vertical distance of 12 inches or approximately 30.5 centimeters. The procedure for conducting the test is as follows. First, you need to obtain about four and a half kilograms of air dry soil and break all the soil lumps into small pieces. For the first compaction, you will need to add enough water to the soil and mix it thoroughly such that the moisture content reaches about 5%. Once you have uniformly distributed this water through the sample, you need to weigh the Proctor mold plus the base plate. You will compact the soil into the mold in three approximately equal height layers. Each layer will be compacted uniformly using the standard Proctor rammer. If you are using the 4-inch mold, you will compact each layer using 25 blows. If you are using the 6-inch mold, 
Since it has a larger volume, you will have to compact each layer using 56 blows to achieve the same compaction energy per volume. When you have finished compacting all three layers, the surface of the soil should be slightly above the top rim of the compaction mold. Once the compaction is complete, you need to remove the uh, extension collar attachment from the top of the mold, being careful not to break off any of the compacted soil inside the mold. Using a straight edge, you need to carefully trim the excess soil above the mold so that the soil is flush with the top rim of the mold at every point. Next, you will need to determine the weight of the mold plus the base plate plus the compacted soil in the mold and record it as W2 in your data sheet. Once you have done this, you can remove the base plate from the mold and using a hydraulic jack, you can remove the soil from inside the mold. You will need to take a water content sample, uh, preferably from two or three different levels in the mold. Make sure you have already weighed, taken the tear weight of two moisture cans prior to selecting your soil for moisture content. You will compact the soil into the mold the same way at least five times. Each time the water content will be increased by 2%. This process should be repeated until the weight of the soil plus base plate plus mold starts to decrease. Once there has been a decrease in the total weight, W2, you should repeat the test, preferably two more times at even higher water contents, so that you will achieve a nice compaction curve with a well-defined peak. When you come to the lab the next day, you will need to remove the moisture cans from the oven to determine the final moisture content of each compaction test. In most specifications for earthworks, it is required to achieve a compacted field dry unit weight that is 90 to 95 percent of the maximum dry unit weight obtained in the laboratory. This is called relative compaction. It is a ratio of the density, dry density obtained in the field divided by the dry density obtained in the laboratory test. It is also uh, useful to note that the standard compaction test can be run uh, using slightly different methods depending on the gradation of the soil being compacted. ASTM defines 
four different methods, method A, method B, method C, and method D. In this video, we have used method B using a 6-inch diameter mold and 56 blows per layer. The summary for the other methods are shown in the table.